All right, we got a uh, kind of an interesting little uh, holding challenge uh, for a quick little video. You guys will probably like it. This doesn't come up very often, so I thought it was worth um, uh, videotaping it. So what I have here is I have a, it's a plastic bushing. It's got some threads on it. It's for a guy at work uh, that has a, it's kind of a cheap microscope. I guess this holds some part on the microscope. Not sure what exactly. Anyway, his instructions are, um, like now, 0.75, make 0.64, take off 110. Um, here's the problem, though. It's made out of plastic, and as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty fragile, right? And I don't know about you, but uh, I don't really feel like making one of these from scratch, so I don't want to mess this one up. So, you know, as tool makers and machinists and things like that, we're often presented with jobs that are, um, you know, work-holding challenges, and... Um, that uh, you don't want to end up having to make again. <laughs> and uh, so you, you need to be clever and versatile with your, with your work holding. So this is, this is actually a really good use of, um, um, you know, your plain jean uh, plug gauges here. And if you have a full set, you can find one that, uh, that uh, generally fits pretty good, right? Something like that. And this does a couple of things here. Is it, is it rounds us up nicely and it gives us something to kind of hang on to. Um, now, the only problem is, is, you know, how do you keep it from turning, right? That's the, uh, that's the trick there, right? Um, so what you can do, though, is once you kind of find the one that, that rounds this up nominally and, uh, and fits pretty good, right? In this, in this case, it's, uh, what do we got there? 728, okay? Uh, we can add a few thousands to that and then we can exploit a property of this particular material, plastic being, um, that its uh, coefficient of thermal expansion is much greater per unit uh, than steel is. So what we're going to do is we're just going to warm this up and then we're going to slip it onto a slightly larger pin and then it's going to cool down and lock onto that pin like a monkey's uncle, <laughs> so to speak. So. Um, so actually, you know what, I'm going to add, uh, let's, let's add three thousandths to that and see what uh, that should, that would probably be plenty. Okay, let's do that. We're going to add three to that. And then how I'm going to heat it up, let me reframe the shot a little bit and I'll show you how we're going to warm this up and uh, get it fitted to the, uh, get it fitted to this plug gauge. All right, so there's our oversize and it's just it's just kind of wanting to start. I think this will be good. So what I got here is I got a um, a Yeti cup here. And if you guys haven't tried these Yeti mugs, they're pretty awesome. Um, they're insulated and they uh, uh, things stay warm or cold in them for quite a while. Uh, and then we got uh, my handy dandy thermometer here. Let's see what we got. Should be pretty hot. Let's see, what is it? Oh, we're on F. Is that one? Ninety-six. So that's you know, it's it's boiling water out of the teapot is what it is, and uh, it's cooled off a little bit. That's pretty hot actually. It actually doesn't need to be that hot, um, or I don't need to put it in there very long. So uh, let's do this. We're just gonna put it in there, and it ain't gonna take much. I can tell you that. There, that's it, and we're we're on. Okay, that's it, and the pin tends to cool it off immediately, um, and we're locked up. So we should be able to go over there and uh, and part this off, and uh, and then let's so let's cover this back up so we don't lose our uh, lose our heat. And then when we come back, the same thing's going to happen. Uh, this expands faster at a faster rate than this does. Um, so we should be able to just pluck this off of here uh, fairly easily. So let's, uh, let's go over to the lathe. All right, and then 640, right? 630, 40. Okay. Good. Stupid here.
really the trickiest part is going to be gently deburring that. So. I'm going to get my little ceramic guy and do that. This is a little ceramic deburring tool here. It's good for plastic sometimes. Actually, it's not behaving itself very well. I think I'm going to use a tool on that, guys. Yeah. I don't like the way that's doing it. Let's, see. Let's try cutting it. Spin it by hand. That's yeah, better. Okay, I'll go take it off of the mandrel. she goes all right I think mr. Jim will be happy and he's got a bushing and we didn't uh, we didn't wreck it all right guys thanks for watching